be with you in the minute. Hold on. I do apologise. I'm still having issues with my machine. It's um, it's a bit slow. I've wiped everything. Hold on. <laughs> right. How's that? <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, sorry, I've um, whatever. Hello, guys. How are we? Um, I've been going back through some of my old videos and I thought, whoa! <laughs> I thought, what I do in this one is have a blast from the past. As you can see, this one here. <laughs> um, this is a very old, I think it was probably my third video I ever did on this channel. Um, 2013 that was done. So um, that was quite some time ago. <laughs> so uh, I've edited it a little bit. I've uh, re-uploaded it in this one. Welcome to some old footage. So I might go th back through some of my other videos because um, there's an awful lot. As well as on Scudo as well. There's over 350 on Scudo. I'm not sure. I think it's probably well over 150 on here as well. So um, I'm just having... Um, an odd look at some of the old vids. So, hope you enjoy and um, have a blast from the past. So, and I'll see you in the next vid. Morning, guys. Hope you're all okay. Right, we're in the van again. Just doing a little video log this morning. Um, it's kind of freezing, isn't it? Well, three degrees. Hold on, let me, let me turn the heater on a minute. Flick me gas on. Light me fire. Oh, it's smelly. I hoovered it. I had a brush out yesterday. Anyways, right. I've got a bit of heat on. Um, what were we going to say? Hoping to pop off this weekend. Um, yet another trip. But, you know, that's what it's all about. Trying to make the most of your time. Um, looking to, I've booked a little place just outside Burnham-on-Sea, which isn't far away, but it, it's quite local to me, so uh, I should be giving that a try this weekend, we're camping and caravanning those little CS sites, so it should be quite nice. So we're going to talk about the numpties today, yes, um, I think this is a bit more of a response to um, one of Rick's videos. Um, he, he talks about the system, the system as we call it. Um, it's got me thinking a lot recently about the sort of people in the system. Um, I tend to call them as, uh, I call them the middle class numpties. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that they've got a neighbour really, but that's what I seem to call them. Um, there's, they seem pretty self-sustaining, or so they think. Um, they, they seem to sort of revolve in their own little worlds within the system. Um, their jobs aren't particularly important. They, they all earn an awful lot of money for doing extremely little. Um, the system gives them everything that they need. Um, I guess they're playing the system extremely well and they're very good at it you know that they get what they want out of the system by using the system I mean I guess I guess that's who they are but it, what they've got it, it all the money and everything that they've got it, it, it's it's not sustainable because it's got to come from somewhere you know they're um they're just they're earning all these wages and where's it all coming from um, I mean, I'll give you a good example. There's um, this is a little story I heard the other day. Um, it was about this, a law firm um, in a town near to me. Um, there's a few barristers working for them. Um, their wage was seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds a year. Um, and during the uh, financial climate, they were having a few problems understandably so they thought to themselves we must cut costs 
So, you know, every you know, you and I, you know, we think to ourselves, well, it obviously makes sense. You got to cut the cut their wages, haven't you? I mean, seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I mean, who the hell needs that sort of money? Well, do you know what the company did? They sacked the cleaner and the tea lady. And then they decided not to hand out biscuits to their clients. <laughs> right. You know, this is, you know, well, you know, as long as he can, as long as this barrister can, this, the, the middle class numpty, as I call them, can earn their £750,000, you know, that's all right, is it? Um, it's not sustainable, is it? You know, the, it seems to be the working class people are, are suffering. You know, they're the ones, they're the ones that sort of want to get on every day and just live a normal life and just plod on, you know, like the rest of us. And and then you've got all these middle class numpties earning this ridiculous amount of money. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, they don't all earn that sort of money, but... I don't know. I just don't. I don't know where it's going to end because it, it, the middle class numpty, they create jobs for themselves. You know, they're um, it's your upper management, your middle management. Do you know what I mean? Or middle management? Who needs middle management? You just need management, you need workers. Why do you need middle management? It's just that basically the numpties at the top say, oh, well, we don't want to spend our time having to tell the workers what to do. So what we'll do is we'll create some more numpty jobs in the, called middle management who can tell the workers what to do. <laughs> so they have to do less. And, uh, I mean... Well, we you know, obviously because of their numpties and their numpties, then the middle management will obviously have to earn an awful lot of money as well. So then these poor people down the working class that work in, say, down in the factory making whatever they got to make, um, well, we've got to work twice as hard now because we've got middle managers to pay for. You know, it's, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It just can't go on like this. I don't know how the working class are going to... Oh, it's getting warm in here. I don't know how the working class can support these people any longer. You know, they get their new cars every year. Um, you know, they're flashing it around in the face of everybody else. I mean, personally, I think to myself, whatever, <laughs> get on with it. I'll just do my own thing. I'm happy doing, doing what I'm doing. I like my little camper and I'm happy. I don't need all the bells and whistles and everything else that goes with it. I'm... I'm perfectly happy with what I got, but if you're in the system, then you've got your working class aspiring numpties. Now these are the people that see all these other people with all this money, and they work, 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 work to try and get there, to try and get their big BMWs and their top-of-the-range Audis and all this, and, and they're working themselves into the ground, saying, I'm going to be like that one day. But they won't, <laughs> because they're not, they're not numpty enough. They're, they're too working class. And the numpties, at the, the, the numpties at the top know that, and they'll still keep pushing their buttons and making them work that little bit harder all the time, thinking that they're going to aspire to be what they've got up, up the top end. But they won't get it. <laughs> It's just, it's part of the system. It's just, it's a joke. What you need to do is be grateful for what you've got and not keep striving and striving and striving. I mean, it's part of human nature to strive for things, but unfortunately the system is set up for you to have what you can't afford. <laughs> you know, I put my hands up, i got debts, but don't have what you can't have because all you're doing is forcing yourself into a life that you don't want <laughs> you know you need to enjoy what you've got rather than just try and aspire to have all this that you you know you ain't going to be able to afford it you'll never have it it's to stop dreaming <laughs> appreciate what you've got
you know, I mean, I look at all these nice big camper vans and I think, cool, they're nice. £57,000. Scudo van, 600 quid. <laughs> Conversion, 400 quid. Do you know what I mean? And I, and I, and I, you can't, I, I can't say to myself, I am not enjoying my time out in this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to enjoy it less because it costs less. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think the thing that pits me the hardest really is fuel costs. Because I can't travel, I can't go to those places I really want to go to because I just cannot afford the fuel. That's why I tend a lot of the places I tend to go tend to be local. But um, yeah, I mean, you think oh well, maybe later on, maybe in the summer when work when work picks up a bit more, then obviously hopefully I'll have a bit more money, I'll be able to go a bit further. But you know, that's tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just worry about now at the moment. Just see how we go. But. Um, Anyway, sorry, that's me getting it off my chest, really, and, and um, yeah, nice, nice vid, Rick, I like that one, and I, I could see, I see it was done quite a while back, so I'm um, sorry if it's a bit late as a vid reply, but, um, yes, so, uh, yes, I think we'll have to change our slogan to, um, live more and be happy, and see you in the next one, <laughs> cheers for now.